Good morning everyone. So today let us continue the problems based on the determinant of third order. Okay. See the first question here. If matrix A equals. So here given matrix A. We have to find determinant A. They are telling to find the determinant of matrix A. Okay. So here the given question is in matrix form. We have to convert into a determinant form. So because we have to find the determinant. So take the determinant of the matrix A. So determinant A equals here. The bracket is changes to the determinant. That is two vertical lines. Okay. So determinant 1, 1, minus 2, 2, 1, minus 3, 5, 4, minus 9. Okay. So matrix is converted into determinant by changing bracket into the two vertical lines. Okay. So now let us find the value of determinant A by using expansion. So to expand the third order determinant, I have told in the last class for the expansion of 3 cross 3 determinant, we have to use the sign notation. So let us take the first row. For first row, the sign notation is plus minus plus. Okay. So let us expand. Determinant A equals. So here the first element is 1. The sign of first element is plus. Therefore, 1 into. Shall I exp expand directly? So here we can reduce for second order. So if we want to take directly, we can. Okay. So let us solve directly. Okay. So here we are considering the value 1 means we have to delete that column and that row. Okay. So now here delete this column and this row. Now we have element in a consider mark our element in a column of row delete agate. We get the second order determinant 1 minus 3, 4 minus 9. Okay. So let us expand here itself. Second order determinant in a expand mark on What is the formula? So product of principal diagonal minus product of secondary diagonal. Okay. So let us expand here. 1 into minus 9 minus 9. Okay. Formula is minus. So next product of secondary diagonal. See here. Plus into minus, minus, minus into minus becomes plus. 4, 3 is a 12. So this is the expansion of second order determinant. Now let us move to the second element. What is the sign of second element? Minus. Here the element is 1. Okay. So now delete that column. We are considering the number 1 means we have to delete that column and that row. Okay. So here we get the elements 2 minus 3. 5 minus 9 in the second order determinant. Let us expand directly. First we have to take the principal diagonal. That is plus into minus minus 2 nines are 18. Okay. Minus. This is formula. Minus. Okay. So next. So product of secondary diagonal. Again plus into minus minus. Minus into minus becomes plus 5 threes are 15. So this is the expansion of second order determinant. Okay. So now let us move to the next element. What is the next element? Element is minus 2. Here the sign is plus. So plus into minus becomes minus 2 into. Okay. So here delete this column and this row. So if we delete this column and this row, we get the elements 2, 1, 5, 4. Okay. Let us expand here itself. 2, 4 is a 8. So this is the product of principal diagonal. Minus Next, product of secondary diagonal, 5 into 1, 5. So, let us simplify. Determinant A equals 1 into, first we have to simplify the bracket terms. Okay. So, here minus 9 plus 12 is plus 3 minus 1 into, minus 1 into, minus 18 plus 15 minus 3. Okay. Minus 2 into, so here 8 minus 5, 8 minus 5 is Plus 3. So determinant A equals 1 into 3 is 3. So here minus into minus becomes plus 1 3 is a 3. Okay. Minus 2 3 is a 6. So here 3 plus 3 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Therefore determinant A value is 0. So this is the value of determinant A. See the next question. Evaluate. So here they have given two determinants. Okay. We have to find the values of these two determinants now. So let us consider the first one now. Okay. So here 
given determinant 0 1 3 minus 1 0 2 minus 3 minus 2 0 okay so let us find the value of this determinant since this is 3 cross 3 we have to use the sign notation plus minus plus okay let us expand here itself so here the first element is 0 plus 0 into delete that column and that row we get the second order determinant as 0 2 minus 2 0 we are deleting this column and this row so therefore the second order determinant is 0 2 minus 2 0 so let us expand here itself what is 0 into 0 0 first we have to take the principal diagonal minus formula okay so here let us take the product of secondary diagonal now so here plus into minus 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 into minus becomes plus 2 2 is a 4 first term is completed let us move on to the second term so for second term sign is minus 1 into so now delete this column so we are considering element 1 means we have to delete that column and that row we get the second order determinant minus 1 2 minus 3 0 so let us expand minus 1 into 0 0 minus okay so secondary diagonal element plus into minus 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 into minus becomes plus 2 3 is a 6 okay so let us move on to the last element for last element sign is plus 3 into so delete that column so here we are deleting element of 3's column and 3's row okay so we get the second order determinant minus 1 0 minus 3 minus 2 okay let us expand here itself first we have to take the principal diagonal here minus into minus becomes plus 1 2 is a 2 so that is plus 2 okay minus formula is minus so secondary diagonal product of secondary diagonal 0 into minus 3 0 okay so now let us simplify here 0 into what is 0 plus 4 we get 4 minus 1 into 0 plus 6 is 6 plus 3 into 2 minus 0 is 2 okay so here 0 into 4 is 0 minus 1 into 6 6 plus 3 2 is 6 so minus 6 plus 6 gets cancelled we get the solution is 0 therefore the determinant of first determinant value is 0 okay so now let us solve the second question now what is the second question is given so here the determinant okay so let us consider the given here itself so this is the given okay so now we have to expand this determinant let us use the sign notation here also because the given determinant is in 3 cross 3 for expansion the sign notation is plus minus plus okay for first element sign is plus 0 into okay so 0 into delete that column and that row okay since this is trigonometric function let us reduce into second order trigonometric function kottrodrinda second order determinant al bardu amale expand maadkolana okay so first element 0 ide so delete that column and that row okay we get the second order determinant 0 sin beta minus sin beta 0 okay so element 0 tagotaradrinda delete that column and row we get the second order determinant this one okay so let us move on to the second term what is the second term so sin alpha okay the sign of sin alpha is minus sin alpha into determinant okay so now delete this column and this row okay completely we have to delete this row and this column we get minus sin alpha sin beta okay cos alpha zero so next term let us move on to the last term for last term sin is plus but here the element is minus let us simplify plus into minus minus let us continue in the next step here minus cos alpha into determinant okay delete that column and that row we get minus sin alpha zero cos alpha 
minus sin beta. Okay. So here this is completely one step. So let us expand the second order determinant now. So if we expand. So here. Since the first term is 0. 0 into anything is 0. Completely first term becomes 0. Okay. Minus minus sin alpha into. So let us expand the second order determinant. First we have to go for principal diagonal. Let us take the product. Minus sin alpha into 0. 0 minus. Okay. So here product of secondary diagonal. Sin beta into cos alpha. Here we get sin beta into cos alpha. Okay. So next step. Continuation is here. So in the next step. Right. Minus cos alpha into so let us take the product of principal diagonal. Minus into minus becomes plus sin alpha into sin beta. Here minus into minus becomes plus sin alpha into sin beta. Minus 0 into cos alpha is 0. This is the product of secondary diagonal. Okay. So simplify the bracket here. First term is 0. Neglect that 0. Okay. Minus sin alpha into what is 0 minus sin beta into cos alpha here we get minus sin beta into cos alpha if we subtract with the 0 we get the same term okay minus cos alpha into cos alpha into sin alpha into sin beta minus 0 means we get sin alpha into sin beta itself okay we are subtracting this term with 0 means we get the same term so now Multiply the bracket term with outside term. Here minus into minus becomes plus sin alpha into sin beta into cos alpha. So here minus into minus plus sin alpha into sin beta into cos alpha. Okay. Now multiply minus cos alpha with bracket term. Minus into plus becomes minus only. So cos alpha. So let us uh, check in the order. Okay. Since this is the multiplication, we can interchange. So let us write in the order. Let us take first sin alpha. Sin alpha into sin beta into cos alpha. Here we can observe that these two terms are same terms, right? So if we subtract these same terms, we get the value as 0. If you cancel the same term, you have to cancel the The value of the determinant is 0. See here. Yerdo determinant in a value zero barthaide. So zero barthaide and really main one point in a hagi observe madi kotiro yerdo determinant no. So matrix formally convert madi noda dadre is these two determinants are skew symmetric matrices. What is the definition of skew symmetric? So for skew symmetric matrices, principal diagonal elements must be zero. Yes, here we can observe principal diagonal elements are zero, right? Okay, so here the order of these two determinants are 3 cross 3. The order of the two determinants are 3 cross 3. 3 cross 3 means we can take odd order. Okay, odd, odd number. So odd order we have in determinant if the determinant is an skew symmetric. Okay, skew symmetric of odd order then the value of that determinant is always equal to 0. Clear agi hela dhagre. Nam get determinant to, kottiro determinant to, skew symmetric matrix formally idre. So skew symmetric ag nan inan simplest formal hel koti dhe. Folding to kondre. Principal diagonal elements is 0 irle beko. Right? One point to, inan the folding to kondre. Numbers are same numbers mil kurute, but sign opposite agirute. Yaw the case skew symmetric again. See here, if we take the folding of this edge to this edge, e edge na e edge ke fold to gondre, e3 bandu, e minus 3 mil bandu kurute. 1 minus 1 ge, 2 minus 2 ge. So clearly we can observe that these two determinants are skew symmetric matrices. Okay, skew symmetric agre. Adar jati ge odd order agidre. The value of the determinant is always equal to 0. This is not applicable for even. Even number is 0. Barala. So we get the particular value. But odd order agidre. Determinant value we get 0. This is one of the main points we have to recall for CET. Okay. See the next question. Solve 
determinant equals 0. So here they are telling solve means we have to find the value of x. Okay. So here what is the given condition? Given condition is determinant is equal to 0. How are you could put it there? Determinant value is 0 means. Okay. So let us consider the given. Given determinant x 0 1 0 x 0 1 0 x which is equal to 0. Okay. So now let us expand the left side determinant using the sign notation plus minus plus. Okay. So let us expand. First element is x. x into determinant. Delete that row and that column. We get the second order determinant x 0 0 x. Okay. So next move on to the second term. Sign is minus 0 into determinant. Delete that column and that row we get determinant 0 0 1 x okay so for last element sign is plus 1 into determinant delete that column and that row we get second order determinant 0 x 1 0 which is equal to 0 so let us expand the determinant left side again x into so second order determinant First is product of principal diagonal x into x, x square minus 0 into 0, 0. Okay, so we can observe that there is a second term 0, 0 into anything is 0. So completely this term becomes 0, that is minus 0 plus plus 1 into. So here expand this determinant 0 into 0, 0 minus 1 into x, x equals 0. 0. Okay. What is x square minus 0? x square minus 0 is x square. x square into x. x cube. Okay. Second term is completely 0. Let us neglect that one. Okay. Plus plus 1 into 0 minus x is minus x which is equal to 0. Okay. So here x cube plus into minus minus 1 into x x equals 0. Here we are getting the polynomial equation. What we are getting the equation? Equation is x cube minus x is equal to 0. Now we have to solve this equation to get the value of x. Okay. So here observe that what is the highest power of x here? Highest polynomial here the degree of the highest polynomial is 3. We are getting x cube power 3 radrinda. We have to get the 3 solution. Highest power n is x again. Ashtu to solutions barle beko. Quadratic equation under 2 barute. So polynomial equation under cubic equation under 3. This is the cubic equation. Okay. Polynomial equation under more than 3 idre. Okay. So illi x power degree is the to ashtu solutions barle beko. Nivili, if you one type of solve matter killer, x cube is equal to minus x on the right side to under plus x agate. So, x square row, a1 x cancel agate, x square is equal to 1 barate, agagi x is equal to plus or minus 1 barate, itara solve mat bedi. Ekandre, we are getting only two solutions here. Condition is there. Namkili cubic equation agirodrinda. So, highest power 3 radrinda, we have to get 3 solutions. Okay. Let us solve now. See here, in these two terms, we can take x as common, x in a common tekondre, x cube is the one the common tek di di x square. Minus 1 which is equal to 0. This is in the form of a into b equals 0. What is the condition? a, a into b equals 0. Either, either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. Okay. So when the a is equal to 0 on the one, x is equal to 0. This is one of the solution of x. Or, or b is equal to 0. What is b? Whole bracket b. So x square minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let us solve this equation x square equals minus 1 right side shift on the plus 1. Okay. So x is equal to heli the square on the right side to go the other plus or minus root agate. So here plus or minus root 1 and the birthday. So what is the value of root 1? That is root 1 is always 1 itself. Okay. See here we are getting three solutions. x is equal to 0. x is equal to plus 1. x is equal to minus 1. So q with the end. Three solutions barle beko. Suppose x power 4 highest bandre, we have to get the four solutions. 
This is the value of x. See here, the next problem is, if matrix A equals 1, 2, 4, 2. So here, given matrix A, show that, we have to show that, determinant 2A equals 4 into determinant A. Okay. So we have to prove this. LHS is equal to RHS. First, let us find the LHS. What is LHS? Determinant 2A. I have told you in the last class. To find determinant 2A, first we have to find the matrix 2A. Then we have to take the determinant for that matrix. Okay. So here, first find the matrix 2A. That is 2 into matrix A is 1, 2, 4, 2. Okay. So take this 2 inside the matrix for each elements. Let us simplify. 2A equals. So if we multiply this 2 inside the matrix for each elements, we get 2 into 1. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. Okay. So now take the determinant on both sides. The matrix changes to vertical line. Determinant 2A equals determinant. So determinant 2, 4, 8, 4. Okay. So here determinant 2A equals. Let us expand the second order determinant. 2, 4, 8 minus 8, 4, 8, 4, 32. So what is 8 minus 32? 8 minus 32 is minus 24. This is the value of determinant 2A. Call this as an equation 1 because this is the LHS. Okay, left hand side one. Okay, so now let us find RHS now. What is RHS? 4 into determinant A. First find determinant A now. Determinant A equals, we have matrix A. To find the determinant, take the determinant on both sides. Matrix kotti dare. Determinant bae kondre. Yerudu side determinant to kondre. Bracket formula yerudu vertical line change agate. Okay. Determinant A equals determinant 1, 2, 4, 2. Okay. So here determinant A equals. Let us expand. 1, 2, za 2. Minus 4, 2, za 8. Determinant A a equals 2 minus 8 is minus 6. This is the value of determinant A. Okay. But RHS, what is the RHS they are telling? RHS is 4 into determinant A. Our healthy RHS 4 into determinant A. Okay. That is 4 into determinant A value is minus 6. What is 4 into plus into minus? Minus 6 4 is 24. Call this as an equation 2. So see here. From equation 1 and from equation 2, what is? We can conclude we are getting the same means LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, that is determinant 2A equals 4 into determinant A. So, this is one of the important result. See here, here we have to recall one important point. Okay, what is the order of matrix A? Let us write here. What is the order of matrix A? 2 cross 2. That means second order. Right? So matrix A is a second order. Then we are getting the result as determinant. Determinant 2A equals 4 into determinant A. Okay? So we have to recall this one. So shall I solve next one to get the one result. Important result. Let us solve now. See the next one, same as previous proof, okay. Here, if matrix A, here also given the matrix A, then show that determinant 3A equals 27 into determinant A. Same as previous proof, we have to prove this one. So, let us prove first LHS, okay. So, see here, for LHS, first we have to find the matrix 3A. So, then we have to take the determinant for 3A, okay. So, 3A equals, sorry, matrix, see here, 3 into A means matrix 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 4. Okay. So, there is a constant 3 outside the 
matrices simplify that inside for each elements matrix 3 into 1 3 3 into 0 0 3 into 1 3 3 into 0 is 0 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 into 0 0 3 into 0 0 3 fours are or 3 is a 12. Okay. So this is the matrix 3A. So now take the determinant for 3A. So to get the LHS. Determinant 3A equals. Here the matrix is converted into determinant. Determinant means vertical line. Determinant 3, 0, 3, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 12. Okay. So now let us expand this third order determinant. Using the sign notation plus minus plus. Okay. Determinant 3A equals. See the first element. For first element sign is plus 3 into. Delete that column and that row. Okay. We get the second order determinant 3, 6, 0, 12. Let us expand here itself. So 12, 3 is a 36 minus 0 into 6, 0. Okay. Let us move on to the second term. What is the sign of second term? Minus 0 into. Delete that column and that row. Okay. If we delete that column and that row, we get the second order determinant 0, 6, 0, 12. Let us expand. 0 into 12, 0 minus 0 into 6, 0. Okay. So, let us move on to the next element. For next element, sign is plus 3 into Delete that column and that row. We get the second order determinant 0, 3, 0, 0. So let us expand. 0 into 0 is 0 minus 0 into 3, 0. Okay. So here determinant 3A equals. So 36 minus 0. 36 itself. What is 36 into 3? 108. Right. So here let us move to the next element. Minus 0. What is 0 into anything is? 0. Completely second term becomes 0. Okay. So let us move to the last term. What is 0 minus 0? We get 0 itself. 0 into 3 is 0. So last term is also becomes 0. So here 108 minus 0 plus 0 means we get 108 itself. Therefore determinant 3a equals 108. So this is the LHS. So call this as an equation 1. Okay. So now to find the RHS, what is the RHS we have to find? 27 into determinant A. So for that first find determinant A. Determinant A equals, take the determinant for matrix A. So here determinant 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 4. Okay. So let us expand this determinant using the sign notation plus minus plus. So here determinant A equals for first element sign is plus 1 into delete that column and that row. Second order determinant is 1, 2, 0, 4. Let us expand. 1, 4 is a 4 minus 0 into 2, 0. Okay. So next element is 0. Sign is minus 0 into delete that column and that row. We get second order determinant 0, 2, 0, 4. So let us expand. 0 into 4 is 0 minus 0 into 2 is 0. Okay. So for last element sign is plus 1 into plus 1 into delete that column and that row. We get the second order determinant 0, 1, 0, 0. So if we expand 0 into 0, 0 minus 1 into 0 is 0. Okay. So therefore determinant A equals here 4 minus 0. We get 4. 4 into 1. 4. Okay. So here second term is 0. 0 into anything is 0. Completely that becomes 0. Okay. So for last term what is 0 minus 0? 0. 0 into 1 is 0. So here 4 minus 0 plus 0 means determinant A is equal to 4. So this is the value of determinant A. So now let us consider the RHS. What they are telling 27 into determinant A. Okay. That is 
27 into determinant a value is 4 27 into 4 is 108 call this as an equation 2 so here we can compare equation 1 and 2 see here from equation 1 and equation 2 both we are getting 108 means from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 we can conclude that determinant 3a equals 27 into determinant a same as previous proof so this is also very very important okay so here we have to recall one important point here ee eradu proof allu one important point anna recall madkobeku nodi previous previous proof da result anna il bardidini nodi matrix a second order alli itto result bandu determinant 2a is equal to 4 into determinant a ide okay so for, from this proof what is the order of matrix a matrix a order in there third order either right so third order then the result is determinant 3a equals 27 into determinant a there are two important result you can solve model we if you are one the important point now to go back to first result in a use mark for the other you know the determinant 3a equals 27 into determinant a and the so here we can write the 27 as 3 cube into determinant a 3 cube under 27 agate right 3 3 is a 9 and 3 is a 27 a 27 a cube will be the other the second result of so determinant 2a idea determinant 2a any the value 4 into determinant a right so shall we write that 4 as 2 square into determinant a right see here here we can observe that here the scalar is 3. Illi 3 and now on the scalar of matrix A ke multiply agi there. A scalar value bandhu illi base ali there. Okay. So here the power denotes the order of the matrix. Okay. What is the order of the matrix for this result? Order is 3. Okay. This is understood I think. Artha agi there and kothin illi base A in 3 bandhi there. That is a scalar value. Okay. Illi power A in bartha agi there. That denotes the order of the matrix. Matrix A, A in order is in there. Third order is in there. It is 3 bantu. Next, the second result is not in there. Scalar value A in bani there. 2 in there. Hagagi in base 2 in there. So here the power is the order of the matrix. E result in the order in there. 2 in there. So therefore, here the power denotes the order of the matrix. In general, it is not in there. Form in general, it is not in there. K A equals okay determinant K A equals K power N into determinant Y बढ़िया रहा है C A this scalar is K here the scalar is K therefore here the base is K here N means N is the order of the matrix N is the order of the matrix Y power denotes the order of the matrix so base denotes the scalar multiplication Suppose if I take determinant 3a, okay, write the value of determinant 3a for nth order and third order, nth order and third order, so here 3 power n into determinant a and the birth. So, this is the point. So, this is the base of the scalar multiplication a and madriti. So, power is the order of the matrix. We have to write an important note based on this one, okay. So now let us take the note by using the results. Okay. So first one is determinant K A equals K power N into determinant A. Where? What is N? N is order of the matrix. N is the order of matrix A. Okay. So next is determinant 3a equals so here so instead of k I have taken the scalar is 3 for same nth order therefore the result we can write is 3 power n into determinant a okay so and also let us recall another result determinant a into b equals determinant a into determinant b so this is one of the important result we have to recall so i will uh, explain this in the next class